Podrick Finnan. Um, been working as a system vet at Glen Vets for the last five years. Um, yeah, we're tearing into the uh, breeding work now. Uh, spring is over, we're out of the calvings and uh, made most of the sick cows and, and into, into breeding work now. My name is Martin Kavanagh. I'm the Business Development and Sustainability Manager with Munster Bovine. Uh, the, the purpose of myself talking with Porik today from Glen Vets, uh, we want to talk a little bit about managing this fourth, fifth and sixth week into the breeding season, <coughs> where people are at with uh, repeats, how we're dealing with these late calvers, where the synchronization protocols fit in and so on. Because my understanding, Porik, is that you're doing you're in the midst of a lot of scanning at the moment. What sort of cows are you starting to scan right now? Yeah, so um, a lot, a lot of the um, guys now are there, as you said, three, four weeks, or five weeks. Some guys into the breeding season, mm -hmm. um, and a mixture then of um, your, your problem cows, cows that haven't been bulling. You know, they're, they're four weeks breeding, haven't seen, uh, haven't seen a cycle yet, haven't seen anything going on. So they're they're pulling out maybe I don't know, maybe ten out of hundred cows or so mm -hmm. that they haven't seen, and we're we're scanning them to see. See what's going on see what the problems are um seeing um some are just you know your, your type one and estrus um probably a cow going back to a little bit of negative energy balance okay um nothing going on so um we're going in and we're we're, we're putting them on a synchronization program um and then a lot of cows then you know you, you've that late calf or there she's calf maybe 35 days end of april start of may mm. um nothing going on there obviously she just hasn't had the chance but uh uh, once we're once we're hitting 35 days, um, going in with in with a coil bar, you will you will get lucky. Some will surprise you. And they'll have a nice CL there, probably just PGing them, mm. um, and then the rest of them in with a coil, and you know get a get a, a breed date for 10 days time. Okay, so so we we've two we've really two categories of cows we're dealing with here. <coughs> ones ones that should have cycled, they've been eligible cows for a long time, uh, and then we have this late calver bunch, and we call late calvers anything after March 17th. Now a lot of those should be bulled, yeah. but we're still pushing into a group of cows that may not have been seen, or as you say, they're still mil they're milking quite a bit as fresh cows under a little bit of pressure. And I know you've said that some of them have probably cycled. Is there merit, Porik, and say putting taking that whole group to make management easy for the farmer? take the whole group, synchronize that whole group if they're clean and then get them all AI'd. Definitely. Um, it, it's, it's, it's the benefit of synchronization, you know, um, it's 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 less the, like May is such a busy time for the farmer. If he <laughs> has that group, you know, there's less watching involved, you know, he has his set protocol and he has his day for AI. And that's okay. it, you know. Um, another thing at the moment, um, you've probably done some large heifer sinks early on what how have yeah. they gone or what's the consequence um yeah uh results so far quite good i think um i think you know it's 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 good weather for farming at the moment i'm finding animals want to go and calf you know it's not too hot it's not too cold it's mm -hmm. it's, it's good good grass they're on the right plane of nutrition um so yeah all is all is going quite well um getting a few calls at the minute um you know large bunches of um, heifer synchronized um and you know three weeks later there's going to be a large number of repeats you know so you're mm. going to depend on whether you're a six or conventional semen um you're going to have a high number of repeats you know that's just that's the way it is but uh um trying to expect maybe a, a handful of, of bulls to do the work there it just it just isn't going to suffice um i suppose the advice we're falling on at the minute is farmer dependent and um, if he wants to leave out the bulls for maybe two days three days after his fixed time up until maybe um, 17 to 18 days um, after the fixed time and then maybe take in the bulls and maybe with use of either tail paint or scratch card do a second round of AI to get that, that bulk of the repeats because they will come in together and it is it's way too much for the bulls you know? yeah i mean even put somewhere you were, you were telling me you're you you were looking at a, a group of 120 there so if yeah. we're looking at that were they done with sex that 120 they are going for six. so they were gone for six and let's let's say let's be conservative there's 50 percent so there's going to be 60 heifers coming back between day 18 day 24 right. after the after the sink so if if we have in that four day period 60 heifers that's for that's nearly 15 a day potentially so the number of bulls we need to do 15 a day, saying a mature bull is only going to, going to pick up one and a half cows per day, roughly. I, I, and an immature bull, if we get one done a day, no one is going to have the bull power to cover that. Absolutely not. Yeah. Just on your knowledge and on, on, from a practice point of view, Porik, with bulls, 
Uh, my, what we see a lot is people, A, don't have enough bull power, but also they're not careful enough about looking after the bulls. Yeah. Any, 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 any points on, if bull goes lame, what, what, what should a guy be thinking of? Um, yeah, look, uh, uh, I, I think the big problem is as well, uh, young bulls, uh, people buy a, a bull there that's that's coming, that's probably been fed to the gills, you know, prior to sales and, and expecting to leave him out. He's he's a problem, you know, because he's, he's straight away probably going to be suffering from a little bit of laminitis anyway. Um, and, and expecting him to do all that work isn't going to happen. Okay. Then lameness, yeah, um, getting getting your foot trimmer in in time. And to be honest, at the site of lameness, I'd be looking for a replacement bull. Yeah, I mean. good on you. And I think that's the that's the thing that we're probably looking at. If in doubt, we'd certainly say bring AI constantly. Yeah. Any bit of doubt at all, we need to keep AI uh, going in there, particularly to stop that lull in calving when the bull lands into the herd. We see bulls go into herd, takes them a little bit of time to settle down. They miss a few, you end up with a two week lull. So um, really keep that AI going just for yes. that extra little bit of time, yeah. just allow the bulls to catch up. Okay. So just to sum up real quick, is the bits we've talked about there uh, using a sync program getting it in for those late cows uh, those cows that haven't haven't come bulling uh, really really watch out if you've got enough bull power when you're looking at the repeats on a sync program off the off the heifers use some use short gestation bulls always push on short gestation bulls and really lay out that sync program for the farmer write it down make sure they're very aware of the interventions um, and the times and so on and we should we should have good success thanks Porik.